Good day or good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, morons. Everybody thinks I just run a Chineseum. I run Chineseum, Korean Chineseum, Mexican Chineseum. Uh, hell, you can even get Brazilian amps out of China. Yeah, hell yeah, sure can. Brand new. Um, I got these from out of duck shop. I had these, man, we've had these a couple years. Yeah, I've had these at least two years. I don't know if they're still under warranty or not. I don't know. Never been hooked up. I should do a gut shot, but go somewhere to look at a gut shot. This will just show you what one looks like and what these are basically for. These are not for, these are not for base. Even though you can run them on base, that's not what they're made for. These are full range amplifiers. They're they're actually made for mids and highs. That's what these are for. And then you had that dumb, dumb, big dummy hook it up on the dyno. I think he hooked this one up like this on the dyno and went because he don't know how to fucking read an owner's manual. <laughs> and if it don't, and it does come with the, it does come with an owner's manual. All he had to do was read it, but he don't read nothing. He just goes, oh, there we go. Looks good. Yep. Great job. Hooks it up to a dyno and burns it up and then goes, <laughs> well, dumb, dumb, read the owner's manual. When he says big dummy, he's not joking. He's being real. He is a big dummy. But you'll see where it says bass boost and all that. Like I said, you can use it for that, but it's it's made for burst music, not a dyno, which is why I say if you do your testing, test it in the car. If Big Dummy would have put this in his car on a set of subs, it wouldn't have burned up. No. Because it can play bass all day long. It's just not made to sit on a dyno and go, Meh. that's not what it's for. So I thought I'd teach you that. Hopefully you know that by now, but some people don't. Hey, this is a 3K, very small, digital, digital 3K. Yeah, look like you get a little sticker in there. And these things, always be careful when you open the box. You see how these little screws just fall out. They do it all the time. Another, another good thing about this video is about these screws. Guys, when you have a system, you need to be checking your connections at least every three or four days if you're playing your music. Go around. I know it's a pain in the ass. You need to go around and check them. Because that's where a lot of failures are. That sticker probably ain't too good. But anyway, that's where a lot of failures are. Things come loose. People are sitting there and the amp's just arcing zzz, 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 and finally fries it. If you keep things tight, snug, bolt them down, use rubber feet. If you're hooking it to a box, whatever, they'll last. Supply them the right amount of voltage, good current, and these things will last, guys and gals and morons. They'll last forever. And like I said, this has a fan built in. Yeah, these get warm, but with the fan running, they're fine. Don't run these below one ohm, stuff like that, but... If you do what the instructions say with this amplifier, it'll last a long time. There's another fan. Uh, I believe these are push pulls. Yep. Yeah, this is a push pull fan system, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, if he would have read the directions and not threw it on that dyno, he wouldn't have burned it up. If you would have, if he would have put it in the vehicle and put it on some subs. It would have been fine. Put it on mids and highs, it would have been fine. It's not made for that. It's not. That's not what it's made for. It's made for music. So, I haven't had any problems with Timpano stuff. None. Ever. Never, never, never. So, or tear amps. I run tear amps too. I got tear amps. I got Timpano. Uh, Stetson. 
I told you I could do a video every day, all day long. This ain't nothing. I can do this all the time. But I wanted to show you that I have all the flavors. That way when somebody says, man, you don't know, or blah, blah, I, 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 yeah, I do know. And I'm trying to teach you and I want you to learn because the reason I know is I've been doing it for years and years and years. And on top of that, I test the equipment all the time. That's what I've been trying to show you lately. Like, look, I test it. I test it even if I work on something. I want to make sure people know I don't repair amplifiers for the public. I do it for my friends. Only my close friends, and I do the shit for free. I don't charge them a dime. Nothing. No. I even pick the equipment up. Pick the equipment up. Supplied the parts. Repaired it. And brought it back the next day and cleaned it for nothing. Because the guy that I fixed the amps for, he took care of me when I was in a real bad car wreck. He was also in a car wreck and he's paralyzed from the waist down. And he was taking care of me when I was in my wreck, which wasn't long after his. And he was in a wheelchair taking care of me. That'd tell you how fucked up I was. So when he said these amps don't, you know, he needs them checked, not sure if they work, don't, well, he knew one didn't work, blah, blah, blah. I said, yeah, I'll check them, man, no problem. And he says, what owe you? And the answer's always gonna be nothing. I said, dude, my labor's free. You know, if he, if I if I got an amp or something he wants, I'm gonna give him the best deal I can give him because I have to pay for the shit myself. But for parts and my labor, and if I got the parts laying around, it's free. So no, I don't do amp repairs for the public. Um, can I? Absolutely, it's no problem. But I told you I got way more important things to do. Uh, I cut trees for people. I had a buddy today. Can you cut a tree for me? Yeah. <laughs> and I got one doing some stuff for me and another one doing some stuff for me. And then I got another one. I got to do some stuff for him and his son. Uh, I just got something I'm fixing to send to Patty Danger. Uh, some stuff that I use at work that does kill her. And I'm not going to say what that is. That's up to him if he wants to throw that out there. But It'll help his business and help what he's doing. We just do stuff like that. So, guys, the way to, I guess, build a relationship with people and getting things done is hang out with them. Be their friends. Don't stab them in the back. Don't lie to them. Uh, if they do you a favor, return the favor. Or pay them something. Whatever you feel like you need to do. But... I have several associates, I will say associates, that, you know, just say if I do them 10 favors, they never do me one, not a single one. And that's just the way it is. I mean, and those people I stay away from. I, I really do. I'm like, they're just using me. But my friends, no. Somebody asked me a while ago if I was trying to be Pete Harrell, but he said Harold, and I said no. Me and Pete's been friends for about 24 years. I've known him that long. And, um, and he actually sent me the song that I played today on that damn... He sent it to me in a text and said, play that shit on that system. <laughs> I said, all right. But we knew it wasn't going to sound right just because it's been sent through a text and shit like that. But the version he's got is going to be killer. I mean, jamming. Hell yeah. And he'll probably put that on something on one of his videos. So, yeah, I know who he is. Hell yeah. He's the one sent me the shit. So, no, I'm not trying to be Pete. Pete's got long hair and plays guitar. I can't play guitar. I got short hair, what's left. And, but is he my buddy? Well, hell yeah. Let's send him a message while ago. We're going to do some collaborating on some shit. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be funny. He's a damn good dude. And he don't put up with no shit neither. He's straightforward, cuts up, has a good time. 
nice as hell. I mean, really is. If you're an asshole to him, he's going to be an asshole right back. So, yeah, I know a lot of these guys, but you guys take care, man. Thought I'd show you the little Tampano stuff made in Brazil, but you can get it in China. <laughs> China can get anything. Hell, they can get COVID and send it right over here. All right, you guys take care. Have a good day. Carpet Audio over and out.